real quick before we jump into this video. You guys know we love our CRF 110s. These bikes are perfect for the track, the desert, your local trails, or for turn rides in your neighborhood like this guy. These bikes are still super hard to get, but we want you guys to be able to join in on the 110 fun. That's why we are giving away this brand new 2022 CRF 110, right Zach? Oh yeah. Here's how you win. From now until September 15th, every $5 you spend over at workportofhero.com gets you one entry to win the bike. And I know we uh, sell out designs and stuff like that when we do these giveaways, but don't worry, throughout the length of the giveaway, we're going to be constantly restocking as well as unveiling new designs. So check the website out frequently. And whoever ends up winning the bike, if you're local, you're more than welcome to come pick it up. However, if you are not, don't worry, we'll ship it to you. What are you doing? Getting this bike ready to be shipped. We'll get this figured out a little bit better, but head over to workportofhero.com right now and get entered. Let's roll this video. What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Mama Rhino Tahoe and we got something really cool planned. We are headed over to our friends over at Dirt King. As you guys know, we've got the Bronco that we're gonna be jumping on and building soon. It's like my first off-road-ish build. And well, since we're in an off-road mood, the guys over at Dirt King, they are, you know, Dirt King. They are the kings of some pretty cool off-road stuff that they got going on and they manufacture. And we were there a long, long time ago when they had just started expanding. Chris, I'm gonna guess this is it, considering everybody's rocking very similar wheels to you on every vehicle over here. All right, so again, I, I did not set up today's video, so I have no idea what's gonna happen. I was getting ready to respond to your Instagram uh, message, and I was like, oh shit, you guys are actually here. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully you don't mind the surprise showing up. No, no problem. Yeah, Show you kind of like what goes on around here, and so I'll kind of walk you through. It's a little bit of a mess right now, because we're right in the middle of the remodel. No worries. But uh, after they weld the part, it'll get deburred and uh, prep for powder coat. It looks chaotic right now, but no, yes, no, no, I totally have understand. A, <laughs> we have a system. Dude, this place is huge. Like, Thank you. Yeah, this is rad. This is actually our first shop down here. Oh, no way. So this is like uh, where it all kind of started was down there. And then luckily it just kind of took to taking over the, the whole building little by little. We've been in business a little over 10 years. Gotcha. And uh, just in the last few months, the expansion's been insane. Kind of, this is where the custom stuff's gonna be is this next, uh, Wall over. Just, yeah, I got this side. We had some fun, had some beers. And <laughs> there you go, yeah. Put some walls on the wall. It looks like our kind of party. Yeah. So this is all in our showroom over here. This is where we're going to do all the custom builds. Nice. Dude, this is huge too. And well, the remodel is done. They have a massive new shop set up and they've invited me to come over, check it out, film it, and they got a pretty sick truck that I'm excited to check out. Holy freaking transformation, Crazy, bro. Right? Dude, Lots this place years, is nuts. How long has it been? Two years? Two Probably years. about. Just, just over two years. Dude, this place is rad. Wild, right? Because last time you came here, there was all the holes in the wall, the mess everywhere. Yeah, dude, this is sick. Right, what we got here is all of our, uh, well, not all of them, but majority of our suspension displays. Uh, we've had these for quite some time now. These are like our long travel kits, our long travel race kits. And nice. then we have our upper conforms over here. We have our Heim style, our bushing style, and then our ball joint. So this is what Chris is running on his truck, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And nice. Then we have all the popular wheels that we run. Love it. I want those cam seats so bad. Yeah, those are a rad ones. But they won't fit with my <coughs> pockets. Oh, <coughs> yeah. contacts. <laughs> Can we address that for a second? Because I get asked a hundred times on my videos. I just actually released the video of my Baja kits for the Bronco. Yeah. And everybody's like, should've went with Durkin, should've went with Durkin. I hit you up like, before my Bronco was here, yeah. right? We, what, what, what are the, do we got any Bronco plans ever? Nothing yet, nothing okay. yet. This was my first choice. Just so everybody knows, they just aren't making a kid. We yet. are going to ramp up our product development here pretty soon. Okay. Uh, just with everything you see going on here, we... Uh, yeah, yeah we I think you guys got a little bit going on here. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't want to have our product quality be compromised with everything else we have going on. Fair. So, um, we're just about done with everything. So pretty soon we're going to be getting back to product development and just ramping up and just starting getting new products out the door. You know, just give me a little phone call. Oh, we drop the Bronco off. You know. You know. <laughs> What's going to be cool too is when we release our Bronco line is our first truck that we built was an old uh, 66, I want to say, from my dad. Okay, nice. And so I want to kind of do like a, a twin one, you know, wrapped in the same when That'd we release our sick. Bronco parts. Heck yeah. Yeah, my dad just won't get rid of it. He's all, you know, it's the first build, I, I got I to gotta keep it. Well, that started all this, right? Yeah. So uh, last year here, this was empty. Yeah, you guys were like partying back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We actually just had a party last night. Nice. This, uh, this whole half is all of our manufacturing. So we do pretty much everything in-house except for powder coat. 
We nice. do our laser cutting over here. So Ooh. we cut the parts, we press break them, and then over here is where we do our welding. So all the welding is done over here on the, the left side. Okay. They weld the products. So like you can kind of see here's some products over here that are welded up. Uh, kind of like the, oh, yeah. the initial stage. They get all welded up, they'll sit in the staging area over here and they'll go through our deburring apartment and they'll get cleaned up and uh, all ready for powder coat. So all these jobs you see over here, these are all ready for it. Nice. It's a process to be able to kind of hold the quality that we're, you know, we're really strict on. Right. But we're really happy with the whole process that we have set up. It was organized chaos before when you're here last. <laughs> Trying, the quality that we have then is the same as we have now. Just now, it's just so much more organized, man. Yeah. yeah. Not that you guys weren't professional before because you like superseded my professional level, but like it's gnarly seeing this transformation. Like, holy crap, this is like going from like not garage shop, but better to like full fledged like space age factory right here. One hell of a change. Yeah. It's crazy. This is so sick, dude. You guys definitely stepped it up. Not too, too bad. You can do all that here. This is on the. This is off the laser. So now we can start laser cutting our stuff before we're doing it on that dragon. I think I'm gonna show you that one. Yeah, I remember too. that. That was here last yeah, time. Yeah, so this is the this is the new, the new new. <laughs> yeah. It's like the sexiest iPhone looking uh, yeah, right? <laughs> laser cutter. Uh, yeah, that thing's rad. So yeah, it's a little, little bit of an upgrade from this bad boy, huh? Yeah, that's just the backup. Yeah, nice. Uh, see here, where we do all our machining. We'll get machined right now. Have, like our bushings. Uh, How many CNCs are you guys running? So we have three CNC lathes and then two CNC mills. We do, I want to say, if not 100%, 99% of our turn parts in house. The CNC milling, we don't do much of it just because we're not as efficient as some others. Gotcha. But uh, we do a lot of our machining in house. Did you have any CNCs when else you were? We had that guy. Okay. And that guy. Just those two. Gotcha. Yeah. This is our fill. This is what was supposed to be. We were so proud of the spot. We're like, okay, this is gonna be just mine and Nick's like work spot. This yeah, is, yeah, this yeah. It's just be ours. No, no, like work, work. You know, this is our after hours hangout spot. Where we're gonna build our own cool stuff. And that lasted maybe two months. <laughs> and it became the the whole custom shop. Now you know, there's trucks coming in and out nonstop. So we ended up moving. We have a small little bay on the other side of the laser. But work comes first. Always. Oh, you gotta pay for the place. Yeah. <laughs> so they're doing an F-50 right now. Doing a long travel kit, a custom bumper, and they're doing an Overland uh, Tacoma. Nice. I noticed a lot of Tacomas in the parking lot now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. The Tacomas and the Chevys, I mean, they're every day. Those, those, those two trucks, they're, uh, we're doing them all the time. And then we got uh, some other equipment. We can do wheels and tires now, which is pretty cool. I we saw that, yeah. I saw you guys post that on Instagram. Yeah. That's awesome. We're pretty much becoming a one-stop shop. We can do pretty much everything in the house. And it's cool, like, you know, you see these lower arms, you see the long travel kit. It's so rad, like, we're machining the parts like a few feet away from where we're doing the install. We're welding them over there. And then we see the very end where, you know, it's installed on the vehicle. And then beyond that, just what we did this morning is we go out and test it. Right. So I can show you some more of that here pretty soon too. Last time I was here, you, you didn't really do installs. Like, no. If you're gonna drop 150 grand here, we'll build your truck. But like, pretty much. This type of install you didn't do. Is this like now a, a, now a common thing? Yes, because we have the space now. Back then, we had someone that was willing to spend the money. We're like, all right, well, we're gonna shift some things around, and we're gonna move our welding area over here now. And we're gotcha. gonna try and get this build done over here. It was just, we had to kind of use one space for multiple things, you know? Right. We had to make do the best with what we got. So now we have space for everything that we did previously. We do all the same stuff now. We just, it's organized and it has a home, it has a place. Gotcha. And what's good too is like, with how compact it was, we really learned some good, you know, of being efficient, of coming up with procedures, make sure that we didn't mess anything up. Right. And so now with learning all that and bring that over here, like it's it's easy now. You know, since we're standing in front of a bumper build, you know, uh, if Bronco, I can do it. Would love a sweet pre-ride style bumper. Yes, we absolutely can do it. I mean, hopefully uh, in uh, another month or two, maybe okay. you'll have a video of, of uh, us doing a bumper on your Bronco. That would be rad. Every comment, by the way, I just posted a video yesterday. Is dirking, 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 dirking. That's right. Like obviously your quality's unmatched, and everybody knows that. You guys have been around long enough now that if yeah. there were ever issues, it'd be known. Uh -huh. Like you yeah. guys, 
I mean, clearly you guys didn't grow to this because your stuff yeah. sucked. Like, you and guys you are know, top of the line. Times to times, you know, we will make issues, but we always make it right. Because there you go. like last time when you're here, when I was showing you, we're building that truck out in the shed. We're, we're just like the people that we're selling to. So like if they're having a problem or they're having a bad experience, we know how that feels and like that eats us up. So we yeah. want to make sure to make it right. We'll head over to the uh, warehouse. I'll kind of show you what's changed over there. Last okay. time uh, you were here, it was kind of a mixture uh, production and warehouse and now it's just all warehouse the problem we're having is mixing the two just got really dirty gotcha so now we have uh is this the, is this the truck that was in the shed no this, this is that's here. the truck that was this in the shed it. it's still not done <laughs> still not done this is the trade-off of you know trying to get everything else going oh your stuff's always left yeah the mechanics yeah. cars always broken down contractors house is never finished. there you go you yeah. know it yeah you your, know. your guys' trucks will uh-huh one day. It'll, yeah, when it's done, it'll be done right. And this is one of our employees' trucks. So I noticed uh, I've seen a lot of Fox shocks. Yes. This is my first time in my life I've ever gone Kings. Okay. Any preference? Uh, I prefer King. Uh, you know, we like their internals a little bit more. Okay. Uh, they're both a great quality shock. Okay. They're both, you can't go wrong either way. But, uh, you know, there's some advantages with Fox, and, you know, we just kind of invested all of our money in getting stock in Fox, so that's what we got. Now, say I order a long travel kit from you guys right now. Like, obviously, your guys' lead time doesn't seem that bad. You guys no. got a bunch of stuff on shelf. However, shocks, what are we, are we still it, crazy? It depends because uh, thank God that we kind of saw this coming when it started getting bad. We just dumped all of our money into placing orders and getting those released as soon as possible. We have some orders that we're waiting up to in a year. Oof. So we're getting stock in that no one else has got. And surprisingly right now, we actually have more foxes than we need. We're trying to offload some. Nice. Where everyone else is like, I can't get them. Actually, I'll show you this real quick too. So last you saw it, there was nothing. No, this, yeah, this was... I believe it was just a bare chassis, right? You guys are working on the chassis, yeah. Yeah. Dang. Okay, so uh, it's, it's still a mess, but the everything is pretty much done tabbed had it set up for the five seater it's all good we're just kind of doing the final things on the wiring and uh we got started up last week so it's getting close it's getting really close dude, can we just talk about freaking oh my god dude so much billet yeah. it looks so sexy yeah i love your guys's color combo the gold and black yeah you can't beat it is this all you guys like, what's that like... so we uh this is another like kind of cool thing of the new technology is uh, 3D printing. So we 3D okay. printed this uh, mount to move the uh, move the electrical to the bed. So you'll see there's one fuse box over there. We got one right here. It's pretty much just wasted space. So we built this box, it's got a cover and then we have aluminum sheet to protect it further. But uh, just using our dead space so that up in the engine bay, we have room for our intake and just, uh, it looks clean. Oh yeah. Normally that would be taken up, you know, all this space. Right. So yeah, we moved it back there. And the, that's the type of stuff I love. Number one, I love coming to places like this when there's guys that actually care and they actually like participate in the industry that they sell the parts for because they're constantly innovating on their own stuff, fixing their own problems, and then eventually that stuff gets trickled down to products that are in production for you guys, right? Yeah, like this is uh, this is something similar to that applies to that. I did that all out of aluminum. Nice. I would never do that again. <laughs> Morgan Clark or someone like that could probably do that in, I don't know, maybe eight hours. Yeah. I have a total of 50 in it. Jeez. But that's the problem, I'm behind the desk too much. Right, right, right. So, but I can still make a good part. So it's just kind of mocked up right now. It sets up all clean and uh fireworks is going to do a mold of it i have no problem if people like our style want to do similar stuff so i'm not trying to keep it just to ourselves so they're going to make a mold and uh that'll be something that anyone can buy yeah on the first cat eye that we did we did the uh the abs balance and uh we wanted something that kind of had you know the returns and the flange in it something that was just the ne next step you know? yeah all right just one more aluminum one for the bronco just one more <laughs> absolutely not never again there's about three times i thought i ruined it and i was just stressing like dude they're what 10 hours they're what 20 Ooh, hours no thank you so uh down here we have our sunday station so everything kind of gets uh staged over here so this was all manufacturing last time right or like right mixed over, i want to say over there last time was our welding cells and then back there in that corner was uh some manufacturing yes i don't remember what was right here but i just a bunch of mess moving here. I think, yeah i think you had a bunch of stuff stacked right here it probably was. ready it probably to go upstairs started, or yeah, something it's probably just, we had these staging areas throughout where we just put all of our random crap to try and it's like a puzzle to do all the assembly here's actually some of those links it's cool because our customers request these off colors and this is just a different color that we're doing ultra pulling so you can request whatever anodizing pretty or much, whatever you want right yeah pretty much anything so there's the now, out of curiosity, what does a little setup like this cost? You know, I'm not the one to talk to on pricing. I, that's, that, I'm not in that department. 
Uh, is it listed on the website or no? You got no, it. No, this uh, is like a. That tells you. This is like the. This is like the uh, the in and out secret menu. Okay. We uh, we sell it, but we don't really advertise it. This is like kind of the extent of what you can take your suspension to. Gotcha. And so uh, this is something that we want to talk to the customer about. We're not financing this with a firm. Actually, you can. maybe we will. You can. Maybe we will. Does it go up that high? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're in. And then they're doing the. Packaging over here. Nice. Um, this is all of our powder coat. It comes in, gets QC'd, whatever passes QC, gets hung up. Some of the stuff goes through assembly, and then some of this is for um, going right out to customers. So, like, this is a finished product that will get packaged up, okay. shipped out, fits in the bumper. Or as easy, you gotta press the. That yeah, you gotta it. get it all assembled. This is one of those things that we learned without having any space. I mean, this could take up so much more space, but when we were working up, up top with right. uh, like two assembly cells and that packaging machine, we had no space, so we're like, let's start hanging them. And we figured out how to compact these and keep them safe. And, uh, it worked out good because we already outgrew the spot. Yeah. We're already bursting <laughs> at the scene. Well, if I know you guys, let's see, there's a building next door over there yeah. and a building that way. It. Yeah, you're gonna, oh, you did try? Both of them, yeah. <laughs> Man, it's only a matter of time before we push them out. Uh, this is kind of just our, uh, our inventory. We have our overflow foxes. We have some more up there. But uh, like our bulky stuff we put up here on the on the racks. Yeah. We have like our bed cages and our bumpers right here. This is how we stock them. We stock them raw and then we um, give customers the option of doing their own colors. Okay. And so what we'll do from there is then we'll just pull it, send out the powder coat, gets received in over there and that's when we package it up and ship it out. Nice. So being able to kind of customize it is cool for people that want to do their own, you know, their own unique color scheme. Now I noticed your bumper. Remember when we did Chris's bumper. Yep. Did you ever watch the install video? I did, but that's a while back. I can't remember much of it. I just want to know if you were proud of me. Uh, <laughs> I installed it myself. <laughs> I cut his bed sides and didn't. Well, nice. I, I, that's might, scariest, I might have messed it up a little bit, but not that bad. That's the scariest part. Actually, not here. We'll head out this way. It wasn't scary at all. It was Chris's truck. Oh, uh, yeah. When it's not yours, it's a little easier. Oh, check this out, dude. This is our break, break room where we'll. This is quite beers. the break room. This looks like a sweet backyard like yeah, party spot. It's great to have that at work. This is sick. So we have a little hockey, a little arcade game. Nice, dude. Yeah. yeah, so we had a little a little get together last night when we unveiled this truck right here. Oh. Just finished that truck up, and so we're like, hey, let's get everyone together and kind of show it off. Let's go look at it. But yeah, I sent you that video. That was a clip of them running it this morning, but it uh, it did amazing. looking for any you know any bugs because it just got finished up this is the first time running it everything ran, went good except the, the rear window blew out oh but other than that okay. everything's good the rock caught it and there went that she ran really good nice they got the shocks all tuned in and uh dude it's a beast man <laughs> now i'm going back and forth on tires and i don't want to distract from how beautiful this thing is but you guys are running my favorite tire like the toyo mt on a pre-run yep. that's a good setup we, oh i love the toyo mt okay I love it. we run it pretty much uh wherever we can so as long as we can get them we're probably running them this is the black and gold truck that we have on that back wall when he came yeah, yeah yeah okay this is it this is the redo of it nice so he's got a little trunk in here for all of his stuff. He wanted to do a dual spare setup. So we basically just took his bed out and then did this whole system with a dual spare and a trunk. Uh, the advantage of this is he gets that additional weight. That weight helps out a lot. Gotcha. Get that weight in the rear. It's a uh, cage now. You see all that? Nope. Locked. But yeah, it's all caged now. You can see a little bit from the front windshield. Gotcha. We put a clip on it. Um, it's got all the goodies. It's got coolers on it, the intercom system. Dude, this thing looks so sick. Yeah, changed up the look some, hit the lights behind there for a little bit of a cleaner look, did a simple sheet metal balance. This is the world I would love to be in one day, guys. YouTube don't pay that well. To be playing in this world. Right now, we're just pretending with the Bronco, and then, uh, you know, one day, one day I'll upgrade to this world, but this is so sick, man. You guys absolutely do killer work. Thank you. A little Pixies in here. Can I get a setup like this for the Bronco? One day we can, will do can, can we fit some trailing arms in there? And... Yeah, one day we'll be doing that. This ultra four link system, dude, it works so amazing that we want to adapt it to all the vehicles. So far, we've done it on 
99 to 06 Silverado, 07 to 18 Silverado, and uh, 12 to 18 Ram. But we want to do it for, I mean, I want to do it for Tacoma, I want to do it for all the vehicles. Now, and again, this is the setup that I got to call you. Yep. Or this call is it. whoever I'm talking to. Yep. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what? I got one more thing to show you. This okay. Is, this is pretty cool. So, remember how we were here last time? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, if you guys don't remember that video, and if you guys want to see how like they have progressed, I recommend going back. And again, you started in a garage, right? Yeah. So we don't have that video. We didn't, we didn't know each other back then. But like that cat eye was in here getting built in what is essentially what a 20 by 20 by 20 shed. 20 by 20 yeah. shed. Yeah, yep. that, that's so rad. So. But what's cool is now it's the hand-me-down. Now that I got my spot inside. You well, know. you had your spot inside. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I moved down. I got a little spot. So okay. at least I got a spot inside. Now, uh, now this is for the employees to build something. Uh, Nick Gardner is building his silver auto. Oh, nice. You'll notice a common theme around here. Big Silverado guys, big cat eye guys, which is my favorite body style. So sick. So same thing, he's got the engine cage like we have. Nice. Um, he's running, I think he's got a 6 motor in here. He's doing the ultra four link in the rear and then he's got a big cage as well. So rad, so rad. Yeah, but it's cool to see that, you know, we started ours in here and now here he is building his, so it's cool that we're keeping right? it going. All right, well, we'll go see uh, your shop. Yeah, absolutely. It only took 13 years. <laughs> In probably a year, I'll be lucky to have that shed because we're gonna lose this, I'm sure. Right. So, they're building the stuff off right now actually for, for the truck. We're gonna put a cool little sound system in the in our truck. Okay. And uh, they're building that, but this is where we uh, kind of finished up the truck. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's cool. spot, got a lift. First lift. Never had a lift. Is it really? Yeah, our first lift. Everything else is done with jack stands on the ground. Oh, it's a heck of an upgrade from the shed. It's yeah. a lot cooler oh, yeah, right yeah. here, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is so, so sick. Jesus, we got it. What are we running the oxygen for? That's for the laser. Okay. So, that will last about two weeks, I want to say. That big, uh, that big tank that you saw out there for yeah. the nitrogen. We used to get that size for nitrogen, and they'd run through it in like two hours. Oh, geez. Yeah, I got expensive. Sick, man. You guys have done freaking awesome for yourself. Thank you. I'm very impressed, man. I appreciate you calling me back up to something. No, you I, were like, I geek out over this stuff so much. It's so cool. I'm stoked because for a minute, I was like, oh, he's not interested. But I hit you up because when you came through, it was like the very beginning. And like, yeah. I'm so happy where we're at now. I mean, it's been so much work to get to this point. And like, I know how you are. You you know, you work hard for everything you got. Yeah. And same here. So I figured you kind of appreciate seeing how it is now. And, this is sick, man. You know, kind of enjoy it. No, you guys have absolutely crushed it. I mean, in the industry alone, you guys are crushed it, but clearly in life, making a cool place for your employees to hang out and want to work, like that's yep. what it's all about, man. Yep. It's, it's everybody having fun and wanting uh -huh. to show up. You don't find that very often. It's crucial. I mean, you enjoy what you do and it shows the end result, you know, shows in the product. Yeah. Well guys, that wraps up our tour over at Dirt King. A huge congratulations to Dustin and the guys. I mean, seeing people expand like this is so awesome. And seeing that you're still here, you're not like, yep. you know, out on your yacht yet. Yet, keyword being never, yet. Never, dude. I'll still always be wearing work clothes. There you go. The passion is definitely here. I feel it. Um, if any of you guys want to hit up Dirt King, I will have a link down in the description. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. It, it's just the top quality stuff. Like I said, everybody got mad at me for buying Baja kits, but, but I think we might have some stuff coming. I, I don't know if I'm not supposed to say that or not, but we we, we, we just might be. We just might be. So, Dustin, anything you want to say to the people? Uh, check us out and uh, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. There you go. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you're not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be able to work for it. You guys are the best. Dude, good to see you, man. TMX Rhino. Gotta follow his YouTube channel. Dude. How do we end the videos, bro? You can't act like you just watch all my videos and you don't know how to end it. Uh, I don't know, bro. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out. <laughs> um, you just subscribe, dude. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Derek King, dude. You guys always make the best products, dude. I'm so happy to be even on this video. This dude just bro. walked up a minute ago. He's like, oh my god, I'll watch our videos. Bro, do, do we ever say roll the outro? In the roll, head? roll the outro. <laughs> Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.